Hey friends, Patrick here and today let's talk about something that in particular for beginners is I think a very great way to write your code. Well, let's say better, it is more readable, maintainable and I guess the most important advantage for that is that it is for you, it's easier to write code, right? So it's not only for the others or your future self. If they read your code, it is better for them. They uh, will love you and you will love yourself definitely. And in the process of building your applications, it will make your life a lot easier. And maybe you guessed it already. When you see these two little lines on screen, it's about Lambda expressions and in particular the combination of Lambda expressions and link language integrated query. But one step after another, you see it already here on the screen, simple console application. But of course, later then we will again do something with games. But here now we only have one simple variable x is 10 and I want to see the square of that. For that of course I can just write console write line x times x and then I get the square. But now I really I know really basic stuff. We can write a method for that so we don't have to repeat ourselves and this method could look like that. Like it returns an integer we call this square and uh, it takes an integer and in the end, it uh, returns x times x, right? And then here, of course, in uh, writing the result, we just say square. And then for instance, x or the value in the end. And when we run this, we see the result here on my other screen. That's 100 great stuff. But not even that can be improved with the help of Lambda expressions. Now, there is something that is almost the same because a characteristic of lambda expressions is the so-called arrow operator for instance or you can also call this lambda operator or goes to and now this is similar to that right in essence this is uh, just a short hand form to write this method so we uh, do not need the body here and when, when i run this again i get the uh, proper result but a real Lambda expression would be used in, for instance, a delegate, right? And this then looks like that. For instance, we have a function takes an integer and uh, returns an integer. And then here we can give this thing a name and then say this is our anonymous function in essence. And this thing then is the Lambda expression. Again, basic idea is that it consists of this operator here, this arrow. And then on the left side of this arrow, you have the parameter or parameters could be more. And then on the right side, this contains what we want to do with these parameters. And in this case, we want to square them. And with that, we have no error anymore. So in general, Lambda expressions are a concise way to represent an anonymous function. And again, you can think of them as a shortcut in essence, right? For writing functions uh, without needing to define the whole structure of a complete method, as you've just seen with the square method. And in particular, and we will get to that in particular with uh, collections, they come in very handy when you want to uh, get a certain result of a collection, filter them, manipulate them. Lambda expressions are the way to go. But let's just continue first with this example here. I told you already, you can something do with collections. So let's add a collection real quick. And for that, so I save you time. Let's have this list here, right? So this is the collection, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And now what you wanna do here, we wanna still use our square delegates to uh, square every single one of them. Now, what can you do? For instance, you have a for each, right? Var item in collection. This is now our numbers collection here. And then we grab our console right line and put that here. And then of course here, instead of X, we put the item in it. And then we run this thing and we got the result here, right? Great stuff. But this can be optimized with the help of a Lambda expression again. And for that, what we can do is we grab our list, use a beautiful method here of uh, the, the list type in essence. See there, list int for each performs the specified action on each element of the list. And now here we can again make use of a Lambda expression. And this time what we do is we give 
every single item a name, for instance, item, again, similar to the actual for each you've just seen, the for each loop. So we have the parameter on the left side here, and then on the right side we say or we write what we want to do with them or with this item in this case. And that again would be simply square it and after that also displaying the result. So console, right line, and then the square of the actual item. We run that again and here is the result. Beautiful stuff. And I hope you see already how this can improve your code, right? Is it more readable? In the end, I leave that up to you. For a beginner, maybe you have to get used to it, but in the end, if you don't overdo it by chaining another method and something else on uh, the statements, then I think this is, of course, a great way to handle that stuff. And again, in particular, when you are working with other collections and more complex types and not just simply a list of numbers. And this is where our game comes in. Here you see the game item type I have available. This should be just represent the uh, inventory of a game, of a video game character, for instance. You've got a name of an item, a type and a value. And then here we just have a static list of game items, swords, staffs, whatever it is. A ring, for instance, we have a weapon, uh, we have a type of the item, the weapon, armor, potion, and so on, and a value. And when you now combine the Lambda expression with link, short for language integrated queries, and in short, let's just say this is a couple of methods you can use, right, to, again, handle collections of data and do something with them. You see this throughout all my uh, tutorials where I use, well, in essence, pretty much every tutorial where we filter items from a database, use entity framework together with link and Lambda expressions. Using the combination of all these tools makes your life a lot easier. So now here we have that. And now let's just say we want to filter that. So how would we do that first? Uh, let me remove all that here and we have our game. And here now we've got the inventory. And now let's just say we only want to see weapons. All right, so now here then, what we can do is there's this where function and you see it here, filters a sequence of values based on a predicate and the predicate you see there is this function here. So we have a game item, which is the parameter. The result then is a Boolean value. So what can we do here? Well. Let's just say we have a collection of items, of game items in our inventory. So we call every single item then simply item, for instance. And then here, what do we want actually? Well, we could, for instance, say, let's just have a look again. We have the weapon type. I know I could do this with an enum and so on. I think you get the idea here. This is simply a string for this simple example. You're here to learn something, so I hope this works. And now we just say the item type is weapon, all right? With that, these items are already filtered. But now, of course, we can do something with that. Now, it returns the, uh, you see it here, it returns an I enumerable of uh, these items then. So we can uh, put this into another variable and then do something with that, or we just add another function here real quick. First thing I would like to do is I want to make this a list. So to list like that. And after that, maybe put this now into a new line so we can read this a bit better. Maybe also the where. And after that, again, I want to use the for each function here because I simply want to display the name, not only the item and the name. So let's just recap that real quick. We have the item list here, static list of game item with a name, a type and the value. And then here now we just use the where function. This is now link again, language integrated query. It makes it a lot easier to query data collections. So a couple of methods you can use for that. So much stuff you can do there. Not only the where function, you can sort stuff. You can check if a certain item with specific characteristics exists. For instance, you can sort items and so on. Lots and lots of stuff. You can actually, yeah, there, there it is. When you have a look at the documentation, the enumerable class definition, you see it here, namespace a system link. And here now you see all the methods you can use. And they are of course also down here. 
and we are now using where is it now here the where function so if you want to dive a bit deeper into that just check out the documentation you can i think you can just google for link method something like that and then you see all these functions and you see there's a lot of stuff you can do selects also nice projects each element of sequence into a new form so you can build new collections out of a collection you already have order by we will uh, use that in a minute max values join and so on first first or default very often used when you just want to for instance get an item with a specific id for instance in that case you won't use uh, where then you would use first or first or default for instance so lots and lots of possibilities any also often used when you just want to get uh, to know if that says it already determines whether a sequence contains any elements with a specific condition right for instance so great stuff okay so now we have uh, this expression here finally and when we have a look we see it, sort of veil of fire stuff and the assassin's dagger and when we double check weapon yep that's the one that's another one and that's another one looks great right and just imagine what you would have to do uh, without link and without lambda expressions you would uh, have to use a for each loop you would go over every single item and check if the uh, the name or the type is weapon and then either write it with the console write line or move it into another collection doing all these manual steps you can do this with these expressions and again I think even though we have three methods used here, three functions used here, as soon as we put them into new lines, I think it's a lot easier to, to read and also then to maintain this code. But these are just my two cents. Other examples I wanted to show you, let's say we wanna, we don't wanna use the type, we wanna do something with the value and we want items that are greater or equal 100 regarding the, the value. And that would be this result, sort of Vela, Crystal Shield, and so on. And again, double check, where are they? Here they are. So now here we can actually see sort of Vela, where is it? Yep, 300, Crystal Shield, 250, and so on. I think you get the idea. But again, this was just the where function. Another thing we can do is we can say, uh, we can use the order by so here now what we do is instead of where we say order by and then item again parameter item and then what do we want from that item well that would be the item value again order them and maybe we can do this a little different and uh, we just say item name and of course the quotation marks and here now we say value is then the item value like that add a parenthesis and the arrow is gone and now we see healing potion value 50 elixir of wisdom 75 and so on and last one order by descending this works as well so with that we see uh, the uh, most valuable item on top the invisibility cloak of course and then the fire staff and so on so these are just my two cents and the short hopefully real short uh, but still valuable lesson about lambda expressions and link tiny introduction into this world and this is definitely something you may want to use when you write your code in the future so again i hope you learned something if you did don't forget to hit the like button please subscribe to my channel this would mean the world to me and thank you very much to all my supporters on patreon links in the video description if you want to support me too thank you very much and thank you very much for watching and i hope i see you next time take care